Okay, once again, I am out in the garage doing some scrapping. And this is what I'm gonna scrap today. Excuse the mess of this place, but it's fucking, it is slowly building up. So today, we're gonna be scrapping this field winding pack. And as you can see, it is pure copper. So, I'm gonna show you how to get this out of the steel casing. With a few tools, it will be quite easy. The two tools you will need to complete this job are, just bear with us, a pair of wire snips, and a pair of wire uh, strippers. So, what you want to do is you want to use this and strip all of the um, string off the windings. So, basically, all this stuff, this string, very easy to get off. It's just to hold the uh, individual windings in their place so they don't move and short out between each other. And uh, yeah, so it's just simple. Snip here, make a few snips, and use it. Use the cable snips and just basically rip it all out. The tape, well, you can spend time ripping that out, but it's not really that bad, really. So now this comes the tricky bit. So now you want to take your wire strippers and you want to cut here, here, here. It's basically every loop. So that one there, 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 that one there. And then we'll go on from there. It's quite easy. May take a few goes, depending on how good your cutters are. Mine are shit. Because I've been using it to cut bolts, screws, etc, etc, etc. Let's make it all right. Cut on that one. That one. You got to have strong hands as well. Just always check your cuts as well. You can use different ways of doing this, like you can use a hacksaw, um, you can even use a pair of cable snips, but I've tried it with a pair of, pair of cable snips and I can't even cut through it. So these make your job a lot easier. So, nearly done. Oh, I made a mistake in the beginning of the video. Uh, you're going to need a hammer or something to pull the windings out on the other side. Nearly done. Just that last little bit. That'll do. Right. Now, you're going to need one of these to hold this whilst you yank all the copper out of it. Right, okay, that's in the vice now, that's going absolutely nowhere. And you want a screwdriver where you can have absolute leverage because these are going to be a right bastard to get out. So what you want to do is you want to get something to pry it out with, usually a long screwdriver, probably about two times as long. You want to put it in here like whip and apply some force and usually it should come out like that there you go there's clean copper there so again I'm going to try and show you excuse my mugshot if I do get in it I'm not the prettiest looking lad <laughs> but hey ho so you're going to see one of the copper windings disappear You 
got to be quite strong to do this as well, depending on how thick the wire is and all the windings are, etc, etc, etc. And how old the motor is, I know the age of this motor, so I know it'll come out quite easy. But I've had, had motors where they're a bit of a pain in the ass, like this bit supposedly proving. Uh, as you can see, they're slowly disappearing. I just have to get something to yank this out with. You're not coming out. There we go. As you can see, pure copper that is. Always check your windings as well. Whilst you're pulling it out. So, what I'll do is I'll try and show you whilst I'm doing it. So, I'll put the screwdriver in there like quick and just basically twist around the entire motor. Field windings like quit, they will come out eventually, but sometimes I'll get stuck because these plastic insulators have a plastic tab which is this that locks them into place and they're a little bit hard to get out. So, on all sides of these plastic tabs, might as well just do away with them. Just a couple of seconds. Block. Quite easy job to do, just flatten them down. I just use a pair of cable snips, shake it out like that. So, as you can see, all of them are gone near enough. Look at that, lovely. Okie dokie, so that took just under three minutes in total. It took a lot longer on this one in particular because I was showing you the step by step way of doing it. Whereas I would usually get one, strip it, and have all the copper in one bar and all that just to steer them them on the floor within three to four minutes roughly. So yes. You get a fair bit of copper out of them which is good. And still every little bit helps. That can just go in the steel bin, which is basically a steel floor. Because I'm having to sort out in here. Good thing of having vices, you can use it to rip stuff apart. It's my friend in crime. <laughs> Partner in crime, shall I mean. But yeah. Nice. Clean number one copper. Obviously, he's going in here for a minute. Because I'm having a massive sword out. Anyway. Thanks for watching.